My name is Wes Steele, and I'd like to introduce Ida No More's from her age. Your name is Tara Matthews, along with her daughter Shandy Silva. And we're here at the uh, west side of the Capitol, thinking that today would be the beginning day that Santa Fe began to be a part of the Idol No More movement throughout the world that started out in Canada. Uh, I'd simply like to say that I'd, I would like to heap praise upon the women, Indian women of the world that have led this charge for sovereignty, not only for themselves and their peoples, but the, the peoples of Canada, the peoples of the Americas, the people of the world in terms of applying sovereignty to themselves as well as the earth. This is a worldwide movement that has caught uh, the attention of media around the world except here in the United States. And I just wonder why that would be. Why would that be? I believe that when people see a problem in another community, they often feel that it doesn't affect them. And it very way it, it might if, um, affect them in ways that are unexpected because we all share the same water. What's on the table right now is taking away the human rights of a group of people. Number one, that should cause everyone concern because when you take away the basic human rights of people, that is like saying that you don't exist. So we can come in, take your land, take your water, we can move in pipelines, we can have super tankers full of oil, and well, we'll see if any environmental damages happen. Well, we know. We have had that history of mining, of knowing what um, the tailings, what that does to our water. We have our grandparents that are dying of cancer and are gone because of the pollution. So we all have environmental justice in common, environmental rights, human rights. We just ask that we be seen, that we have an identity. We are alive, we're breathing a, a living culture. And we do have rights that go back beyond the colonized system that we live in, beyond the and 500 that, years. And that is what uh, I don't know more would bring to the attention of the Americas, North, South, and the world itself in terms of our in first peoples and Native American peoples of the of uh, North Americas need to relate to the world that we are in a position now that we're asking the world to help us continue the sovereignty of the earth itself. We need to recognize that we have always been the stewards, the stewards of the earth's resources. And we need to find out how we can all work together to better use these resources in a way that does not destroy our environment. My name is Wes Studi, and I'm uh, more than happy to give the voice over to our young generation here. If you had something to tell the world. Idle no more. What does it mean to you? Well, I think it means that um, that it's like a chance to give our people, um, the people in like, Canada, the chance to fight for what's ours, for what's theirs, for what's everybody's. And I think that we should really have our land. devastation that that we had that taken away from us but we're but we're trying to get we're trying to fight back and we think what we're doing is right the youth of the world has spoken and I think 
as time goes on and the youth grow older, we will be recognized. And our sovereignty will be recognized as well. And hopefully, the sovereignty of the earth itself will be recognized. Thank you. Good?